Welcome back and happy new year to everybody. Today I'll be reviewing Gold Flight 7682 from Sao Paulo to Buenos Aires in economy. As you can see by the sign, they have a premium uh, boarding section. And here's the premium economy section of the plane. First five rows. Outside of a few amenities, it looks like you get a bottle of water, pillow. Um, to me, I couldn't see why you'd pay more for that. I prefer the extra leg room in the uh, exit row seat, which they refer to as the comfortable seat. It's perfectly fine with me. Plenty of space. You've got the power outlets as well in front of you, which were working, by the way. And for me, flying goal, I haven't flown on goal since 2014. I think even back then I had the Conforto seat in the exit row, um, which is plenty enough for me um, for the two hour and 40 minute journey from Sao Paulo to Buenos Aires. It's um, more than enough room. Uh, one thing I will caution anybody who has or is thinking about making uh, reservations with gold. Now I use Delta Sky Miles. I'm on Delta Gold Medallion, so it gives me Sky Team Elite Plus status. Uh, with that, you're able to actually choose an exit row seat free of charge at the time of booking, actually. But the key is you have to actually call into Gold Customer Service to get it done. Because I tried selecting it on Gold's app and the website, uh, and it wouldn't let me without charging me. So I called in, and they were able to do that for the reservation. So just a heads up to anybody, if you haven't chosen a seat and you have an upcoming goal flight and you have a Sky Team Elite Plus status, I would recommend calling in so you can secure your uh, exit row seat in advance. As far as the service went on this flight, not bad at all. I mean, I felt the crew were friendly, same as in 2014. Um, but again, my expectations were pretty low. I mean, for not having flown them in essentially five years. Um, and yeah, I got exactly what I thought, you know. <laughs> um, you know, decent service. Again, the crew was friendly. Didn't really need much on the short flight. So it's more than enough. I just appreciated the extra leg room. And here is the meal serves. It's just a sandwich, turkey and cheese. You have a muffin and peach orange juice, which I mentioned was not sweet. Tasted more like water. Here is the uh, laboratory in the 737-800. Nothing special here. It's your standard 737 laboratory. Nothing more spacious than others I've been in, <laughs> but... Yeah, nothing really uh, special to report about it. Just a standard bathroom. Uh, Gold does have an app you can download to watch live TV and movies. Um, I think it's available in the App Store and Android. And there will be options for Wi-Fi. So you can see no uh, free Wi-Fi for messaging, which a lot of carriers are moving to. I don't know if Gold, if this on their longer flights, they offer that, but I'm guessing no. Overall, um, it's a good way to get between Sao Paulo and uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, I find that the cash prices on these flights are astronomical. Between Aerolíneas Argentinas and Gol, I mean, these even Latam, these flights are seven hundred dollars and more one way. So, if you have miles, that'd be the way to go. Using uh, Sky Miles to get between the two for. 12,500 miles and maybe $70 in surcharges. I think it's worth it when the cash prices are tend to always be that high. But uh, please like and subscribe if, if you enjoyed this video to see more content. Got some more great reviews coming your way in 2020. Thank you.